Hello and welcome back. We are going to be solving and adding and subtracting square root problems today. Uh, adding and subtracting square roots is pretty easy. It's just a simplifying problem with an addition or subtraction at the very end. So as long as you know how to simplify a square root, then you'll be good to go. And I do have a video on that as well. You need to break down anything that can be broken down. The 24 can be broken down into 2 and a 12, and then a 2 and a 6, and then a 2 and a 3. And because it's a square root, you're looking for two of a kind. Well, we have a few too many of them. So I'm just going to pick these two right here. That 2 is going to go on the outside of the radical. And it will multiply by whatever is under uh, there already. So this 2 is going to multiply with this 2 to make negative 4. So the 2 we circled multiplied with the negative 2 on the outside to get negative 4. Anything that is left over on the radical adds, uh, excuse me, multiplies together. This 2 and this 3 will multiply and snap back together to become a 6. So now we have 2 square root of 6. And notice how I didn't break down the 6. Doesn't really do anything. We got 2 square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 6. If you subtract those, you're only going to be adding and or subtracting the outside numbers. So whatever 2 minus 4 is, which is negative 2, Square root of 6 would be our answer. Oh, man, I scribbled. Man, negative 2, square root of 6 would be our answer. I boxed through my negative symbol. So negative 2, square root of 6, that's the answer. That's all you got to do. All right? Not that complicated. If you're struggling with simplifying, then maybe a little bit complicated. Next one, we got 1, 2, 3 radicals. If you have 3 radicals, then you need to break down any of them that can be broken down by dividing by 2 until you can't. And then I'm going to break down all of them at the same time because I'm in the a mood to do that. Divide by 3, divide by 3. All right. Again, we're looking for two of a kind. It doesn't matter what number's on the outside unless it's that root. If it was a cube root, then I'd be looking for three of a kind. This is still a square root. We got a pair of threes. We got a pair of twos on this one. And we got a pair of threes on this one as well. So the number you circled goes on the outside and multiplies with what is already there. This 3 will multiply with this 3 to make 9 square root of 2 left over. This 2 will multiply with this 3 to make 4 square root of this 3 left over. This 3 would multiply with this 2 to make 6 square root of 3 left over. Now on this problem... We have a square root of 3 and a square root of 3. We can add these together. This square root of 2 is not a square root of 3, you may notice. You can't do anything with it. Like it, it, it can't combine. It is not considered a like term. So the only thing we can do is add the 4 and the 6 together to make 10 square root of 3. And that 9 square root of 2 is, is hanging out for the ride. It cannot do anything. So that is all we can do on that one. And that is adding and subtracting radical square roots. I didn't do a cube root, but the cube root is the exact same thing. It's just a different simplification. You get it simplified. If they match, you can add them. If they don't match, you can't add them. I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.